What's going on guys? Yo guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Yo, you guys ready for a little art tutorial? We are going to be drawing the one and only Zoro from One Piece. So what you're going to need is obviously a paper, a pencil, and a ruler. Three swords or six, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so before we get into the video, I need you guys to watch to the very end. This is going to be my first ever giveaway. So make sure you watch to the end. I'm going to be giving away something very cool, so this is for you guys, and I hope you like it. Alright guys, before we begin, here are some key things I want you guys to look out for. Alright, so throughout the video, I'm going to be showing you a reference photo that I did of Zoro. The reference photo is going to have everything you need. I have mapped it out with all the circles, and you're going to see the outline of Zoro. So everything is there. Try to copy the reference. All right, so step number one is we're gonna draw a circle, we're gonna add the jawline, and then the neck. Okay, so this is where the ruler is gonna come in handy. If you don't have a ruler, it's okay. Basically, you're gonna try to copy the same size circle you did for the head. Okay, so you should have three circles. One on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. All right, next we're gonna add four more circles down. So in total, you should have five. One for the head and then four down. All we're doing is mapping out the body. We're getting the proportions right for Zoro. All right, so next we're gonna map out his body. He has a very rectangle body shape. So as you can see here, I kinda just drew like a rectangle. So, so far, your map should look like mine. Okay, so if it doesn't, fix it. All right, now for the fun stuff. Now we can sketch out Zoro. So first we're gonna start off with the face. Now doing his face and the details should be a little bit easier because you have a map and you have a reference to go off of. So for example, what I did with his hair should be the same as the reference. All right, not bad, so far so good. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna map out his body, you know, his chest and his robe that he's wearing. His body should stop on the bottom of the third circle. Take a look, take a look, here and here. All right, now we're gonna draw his right side of his arm. As you can see, all I did was a line. I did a line to his elbow and then a line to the circle. Or you could just say like a 45 degree angle. All right, next we're gonna draw the sword. What I did here was I did the tip of the sword. So next we're gonna sketch out the right side of his arm. This one shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, all you gotta do is follow the reference and you could, you know, add your own style to it. A little tip I'll give you, his sleeve should not go past his armband or what I like to call the two little bunny ears from the armband. Don't go to the hand. All we're gonna do is stop at the circle. All right, so now we're gonna sketch out the left side of his arm. So doing his sword should be easy because all you're gonna do is follow the bottom all the way to the very top of the tip of the sword. All right, so now we're just gonna add some creases and like some ruffles to his sleeve. So the next part of his hand should be simple. All you gotta do is follow the reference. All right, so now we're gonna go to the right side of his hand. Now I know hands can be difficult, so I'll try to explain as much as I can. So for me, the best way I learned about hands was thinking of hands as blocks or like little mittens. As you can see right here, I did a box for his hand and then a little circle for the palm of his thumb. So next is I'm just drawing the placement of the sword handle. You want the handle placement to be here and here. Now the next part should be easy. You're just following the guide and following the reference that I have. The difference between my sword and yours. All right, so now let's do the bottom half. All right, key things to remember. His sword handle, the top should be on the fourth circle. So the bottom half of his like satchel or whatever that's wrapped around him should be on the very last circle. So now for the very last part, I'm just adding in a little bit of details from his sword handle to the little buttons on his robe and little creases on his satchel. All right, and that's pretty much it. All right, so the next part, I'm just gonna be inking, redrawing him and adding a little bit more details, but with my pen. So thank you guys so much for watching. And for the moment you guys all been waiting for, let's just talk about the giveaway. So one of you very lucky followers is gonna get something from me. And drum roll, please. I'm gonna be giving away this. A hand-painted Zorro piece 
from me. But not only are you going to get this, I'm working on two handpiece drawings of Luffy and Zoro. You're going to get two of these, a hand painted drawing from me. You're going to get a print of the drawing that we did of Zoro and two stickers of your choice. You can get like, you know, the you can get the sexy one piece girls or you can get some one piece stickers. I'll let you choose. So how do you enter and how do you win? Very simple. I'm going to post a picture on Instagram. It's going to say one piece giveaway. All you have to do is comment Zoro with an emoji. That's it. You can put a happy face emoji, glasses, whatever emoji you want. That's the only way you're going to enter. So everyone from TikTok, everyone from YouTube, you have to go to the Instagram post, comment Zoro with your emoji. Next week, when I go live on Friday, I'm going to announce the winner, and we will see who the winner is. Hopefully you guys get to win this piece. Good luck. Don't forget to go to my Instagram, comment Zoro emoji. You don't have to write, I want this, can I have this, oh, can, can I enter? Nothing crazy. All you have to do is write, Zoro, emoji, you're in. Hey, thanks for watching. How'd you guys like the video? If you liked the video, go ahead and give me a like. And go ahead and comment down below. Alright, I'm going to need everyone's help here. As you can see, I'm making a spirit bomb. And if you guys want to be a part of my spirit bomb, well, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's see how big we can get this, baby.